my goodness, friends, we've got leopard prints, we've got tiger stripes, we have the whole cat family living in this color. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I got from this to this. And before I do, let's talk about what we have going on here. So it's kind of hard to tell, but there are some pieces that are really under processed and some pieces that are over processed. So some that are extremely white and bright, and then some that are a little bit more orangey gold, more toward the back. And the reason why it's so stripey is because it's a classic foil highlight and it was only done like around the face and maybe in the crown and then it looks like it was just done very quickly and the lightener swelled a bunch and left spots at the root. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually wet it down with a spray bottle. I don't have a bowl because I'm doing hair at home right here. So I'm doing it with a spray bottle. And the reason I'm doing this is because a lot of times the hair is extremely porous when it's over processed. Well, actually all the time it's extremely porous. So there's pieces that are way over processed. There's pieces that are under processed. So the water kind of helps to even out the porosity. And then it also gives me a really smooth canvas for color melting. You guys, even though I didn't do this service that gave her this result, I want to just let you know that everybody makes mistakes. So if you accidentally leave spots and streaks in the hair, I want to just empower you to feel confident fixing it for your clients. So my first formula is going to be Redken Shade ZQ 6N, and I'm actually using a shot glass thing, I don't know, for mixing shots I don't, or mixing drinks and stuff, um, because I didn't have anything to measure, so I just wanted to make sure I was still being accurate, so I did 6N with a little bit of 6GI. Tell me in the comments if you know why I use 6GI, but if you don't know, I'm going to tell you right now. The reason that I used it is because I'm going down in level and I need to make sure that I replace the pigment that was taken out when it was lightened. So the first half of that back section was pretty much all brown. There was no highlights that had been put in there previously so that's why I'm starting right here. So I'm just placing the lightener directly at the top of the root and combing down and then I'm going to make sure to take very tiny sections to make sure every detail and piece is covered and fully saturated. And then around the hairline, I'm going to do the same thing, apply to the roots and drag down with the comb a little bit, but I'm going to go in with the comb maybe every two or three sections and I'm not going to drag it down quite as far as I did in the back. So you have that really natural kind of sun highlighted look.
And if you notice, I am just leaving out her face frame pieces. And for those, I'm just going to lightly root tap because they don't, they just need to kind of blend in at the top. There's not really any spots or anything in them. So I'm going to leave them as bright as possible. So this is kind of the fun part. So I'm actually going to put foils in the hair and wherever the 6N and 6GI stopped, I'm going to put 7N and smooth that transition and I'm going to do kind of like a reverse balayage pattern. So I'm going to let this process for about 20 minutes and then after that I'm going to pull all the foils out and then I'm going to take my comb and just run my comb through everything. So this is just going to help further blend that transition from the darker root color into the bold brighter highlights. We just want it to be very seamless. And you could already see it's starting to blend really, really well. It's amazing what just color melting can really do for these kind of crazy uneven patterns. You don't really necessarily need to use lightener every time. I mean, it's always kind of better if you do because there's so much more blending that you could do. But if you can't and you just are worried about damaging the hair, you can always do a color melt like this as long as you make sure to use the right formula so that you're balancing pigment. So I'm going to leave this on another 10 minutes after I comb it through and then she's going to shampoo condition and then she's going to come back and then we're going to formulate the ends. So my formula for her ends is going to be majority clear with 9P and I'm using 9P because it has both blue and violet tones and what I'm seeing in the hair is yellow and orangey gold tones so blue and violet is going to neutralize that. Mm -hmm. 
Also, if you are a licensed hairstylist, you're going to want to check out the description below. I have a bunch of free resources for you guys to help you kind of build your brand and your skills. So go ahead and check those out. Also, now's a good time to enroll in my Ultra Blended Color Academy, and I'll link that below because YouTubers actually get 10% off. this video helped you solve some color correction issues, make sure to share it with a friend, like it, and then go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to see more like this. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.